and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's lesson, I'll be teaching on our canals and our canons. Now, basically, our canals and our canons are called carbonyl compounds. Now, we we'll get into that. Now, you can see here there's a table, and I'm going to use these features to explain the differences between our canals and our canons. Now, the first thing written here is called the general formula. Now, our canals are also called aldehydes. Now, the general formula of our canals is written like this R O C H O. This is the general formula of our canals. Now, if we have to draw the structure, it becomes something like this R O bond C double bond O. H. So this is the general formula of our canals. And remember, our canals are also called aldehydes. Now moving over to our canons, the general formula is written to be this arrow arrow prime C O or arrow C O arrow prime. Now this is the general formula of alkanones, whereby alkanones are also called ketones. Now, if we have to draw the structure, it becomes something like this: R bond C double bond O R. So this is the general formula of alkanones, also called ketones. Now, moving over to the first member of this group of compounds, they are called carbonyl compounds. Now, you can see here that the first member of our canal is called the methanol. The first member of our canal is called the methanol. The chemical formula of methanol is HCHO. This is the first member of the our canal. Now, going over to alkanones, the first member of alkanones is called propanone, not methanone or ethanone. It is called propanone, whereby propanone is also called acetone. Now, propanone is gotten like from destructive distillation of wood, whereby we form water, wood gas, and pyrolimnous acid. And inside the pyrolimnous acid, there are some liquid components found there, which is called Methanol, also called wood spirit. We have uh, acetic acid, also called ethanoic acid. And lastly, we have acetone, also called propanone. So acetone is gotten from the destructive distillation of wood, also called pyrolysis. Now, talking about the preparation of these two compounds, now, how are our canals prepared? Now, our canals are prepared by the partial oxidation of primary alkanols, whereby alkanols are also called alcohols. Now, this is what I mean. For example, a an alkanol, okay, an alkanol is being oxidized partially now. An alkanol is being oxidized partially. This is what we get. For example, this is called propanol. Propanol being oxidized we get propanol we get propanol okay propanol is a primary alkanol okay when you oxidize it we get propanol now moving over to alkanones alkanones are prepared by oxidation of a secondary alkanol okay it does not give us an alkanone now for example Propan 2 ohm. Propan 2 ohm is being oxidized. Propan 2 ohm is a secondary alkanol. It gives us propanone. So this is propanone. And remember, propanone is also called acetone. Now let's quickly talk about the chemical properties of our canals and our canons. Now, basically, these two carbonyl compounds called our canals and our canons, they undergo 
oxidation and reduction as their chemical property. Now, let me quickly talk about the oxidation and reduction reaction of our canals. Now, first thing first about oxidation, you need to know. Our canals can be oxidized readily to give us carboxylic acid. This is simply because of the hydrogen directly attached to the carbonyl compound. This is what I mean. Now, this is the structure. Let me draw the structure. Arrows, bond, C, double bond, O, H. The main reason why our canals can be readily oxidized to give us carboxylic acid is as a result of this hydrogen that is oxidizable. Okay? Now, this hydrogen being oxidizable, whenever an our canal is being oxidized, it gives us a carboxylic acid. Now, let's go over to our canons. Our canons do not undergo oxidation to give us carboxylic acid. They do not undergo oxidation. This is simply because of no oxidizable hydrogen directly attached to the carbonyl compound, which is C double bond O. Okay, that's that about the oxidation reaction of our canons. Now, let me go over to reduction. Now, the reduction for our canals is that our canals are reduced to primary alcohols, also called our canals. Why our canons are being reduced to secondary our canals, also called alcohols. Now, examples of our canals is the methanol. Methanol, which is the first member of the our canals, also called aldehydes. Another example of the our canal can be ethanol. Ethanol, okay, the second member of the our canals. Another example of the our canal can be glucose. Glucose is an our canal, okay? It is formed by an aldose, it's an aldose sugar. Glucose is an aldose sugar, okay, that's why is an alkanal. When we draw the structure of glucose, you see that glucose has the functional group of alkanals. Now, going over to alkanones, there are examples. The first member is called propanone. Propanone is also called acetone. Okay? This is the first member of the alkanone, not ethanone. Ethanone does not exist. Now, another example of the alkanol can be fructose. Fructose. Fructose is an alkanol, not an alkanol. Why glucose is an alkanol, not an alkanol. I believe now we have understood the concept of alkanols and alkanols. Thanks for watching.